The majestic Tibetan Mastiff, a breed with an ancient lineage dating back to the Himalayas, once commanded staggering prices, earning them the title of Million Dollar Dogs. These formidable guardians of the high-altitude regions of Tibet were celebrated for their strength, independence, and unwavering loyalty. However, the story of the Tibetan Mastiff is one of soaring popularity followed by a heartbreaking downfall. This video delves into the rise and fall of the Tibetan Mastiff from their legendary status to the plight of becoming stray dogs. For centuries, Tibetan Mastiffs held a special place in Tibetan culture. Revered as guardian dogs, they were cherished for their ability to protect livestock and property from predators like wolves and snow leopards in the harsh Tibetan terrain. Their imposing presence and loyalty made them a valuable asset for Tibetan nomads and farmers. The Tibetan Mastiff became a status symbol in China in the 2000s and early 2010s as wealthy Chinese people sought to own a rare and exotic dog that symbolized power and prestige. The breed's rise to global fame began when they captured the imagination of dog enthusiasts worldwide. These magnificent canines, known for their thick double coats and majestic bearing, became symbols of opulence and status. The breed was widely featured in the media, often accompanying celebrities and gracing the covers of magazines. During their peak, some Tibetan Mastiffs were sold for unbelievably high prices, like one puppy that was rumored to have been sold for jaw-dropping $1.9 million in China. This huge demand led to lots of breeders trying to make money from these popular dogs resulting to overbreeding, poor health, genetic defects, and unethical practices by some breeders. What is the primary reason for the decline in the popularity of Tibetan Mastiffs? President Xi Jinping's anti-corruption campaign, initiated in 2013, had a profound impact on Tibetan Mastiff owners in China. Owners feared that owning such an expensive breed could lead to corruption accusations, prompting many to abandon their dogs. This fear stemmed from the breed's association with opulence and extravagance, which clashed with the campaign's emphasis on humility and modesty. Additionally, the decline in demand for Tibetan Mastiffs, influenced by changing societal norms and values, economic challenges faced by some owners due to the campaign's investigations, and a growing awareness of the breed's incompatibility with urban living, contributed to their abandonment. The Tibetan Mastiff bubble eventually burst, as many owners realized that the breed was not suitable for urban life. Tibetan Mastiffs are independent, territorial, and protective dogs that need a lot of space, exercise, and socialization. They are also prone to health problems such as hip dysplasia, skin infections, and eye diseases. Many owners could not afford or handle the care and maintenance of their dogs, and some resorted to abandoning them on the streets or in shelters. As Tibetan Mastiffs lost their appeal as status symbols, many owners abandoned them. This, coupled with their strong territorial instincts, made them vulnerable to wandering the streets as strays. The transition from cherished pets to homeless canines has been heartbreaking for these dogs. Animal welfare organizations in China have stepped up efforts to rescue, rehabilitate, and find homes for abandoned Tibetan Mastiffs. The hope is that these majestic dogs can regain their dignity and purpose as loyal companions. The tale of Tibetan Mastiffs in China carries an important lesson about how trends and symbols of status come and go. It reminds us that all pets, no matter their breed or price, should be treated with love, care, and responsible ownership. As Tibetan Mastiffs adjust to their evolving role in society, their story mirrors the broader changes happening in China's culture and economy. Even though they might not represent wealth like they used to, they still stand as a powerful example of the lasting bond between people and their furry friends.